stupid, but someone said, we don't talk about black trauma enough and the obstacles that we have. And I call cap. On Black Hair Month, I'm calling cap. I think all we do is talk about black trauma. Mm-hmm. All we do is talk about black obstacles. All we do is talk about problems. We don't talk, we don't spend enough time talking about solutions. Yeah. All we do is focus on what's stopping us and not figuring out how to get past the shit that's stopping us. And I'm tired of that shit. I'm tired of that shit. When it comes to so many things, we sit there and focus on so much problems. Mm-hmm. And in the video I got coming out, so when I say this, when as a jit growing up in math class, we taught to find the solution to the problem find a solution to the problem we were never incentivized to focus on the wrong answers that makes no sense to me why the fuck are we so focused on the wrong answers in our culture if something pop up and someone is stopping us oh we want to sit there for days want to focus on whatever's impeding our progress Mm -hmm. instead of focusing on what can actually get us to the, the finish line the goal line Mm-hmm. And that's the stupidest shit ever to me. And I've been sitting back. I'm like, what the hell going on? Mm-hmm. And when there's people out there that's providing um, resources and tools for us to proceed, proceed, and we never talk about them, we don't shine light on them, we ignore them, ignore those platforms, and focus that don't on sell. it. Don't sell. We focus on whatever pushes negativity yeah. and continues the fucking slave yes. mentality for us. It's some yes. bullshit. And I'm tired of that shit. Yes. And I don't want to be a part of any of that shit. Yeah. So as I'm even as I'm doing this topic, being a man, I know I'm a man. I know my struggle. I know what I go through. And I know um this the, the price we have in relationships. But even as I'm doing content, I'm like, damn, am I gonna continue sitting here complaining mm-hmm. or, or or feeding the negative energy for my fellow brother to complain, or am I gonna try to fit sit here and try to actually provide solutions? So even in my life, that that pulls back on me when I'm when I'm thinking about. What do I feed? To, what, what do I put into the algorithm as far as like, what do I create? So in my own life, I'm like, damn, I got to change things as far as what I'm doing to make sure that I present solutions mm-hmm. instead of just continue to talk about problems. I'm sitting there trying to figure out, all right, how can I gain more, more cash flow? How can I make myself a better person? How can I make myself healthier so I could be able to provide a good solution to be able to come back to my brothers with and say all right y'all boys look i did this here and Mm -hmm. i would take the l with not putting out um a thousand cheating women cheating videos a thousand women uh, feminists do this videos i I would take the l on the money the cash flow on those things rather than saying all right i'm gonna go and find the solutions and make sure these things work and make sure these things change my actual life so i can come back my brothers like all right bro here here i'm putting this shit on the table let's eat let's get better and let's make sure we able to change our lives and to actually have a voice that means something in our community mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so that's what i'm focused on and that's what i'm trying to continue to build in because i want to be i want all of us to be the, the um, bathroom a bathroom type mm-hmm. a like the homie we need to talk um mm-hmm. we're speaking about in this video mm-hmm. i agree 100 yeah, with what you're saying to that it's a lot of us that definitely we need to stop focusing on all the different issues that we have and try to find a solution to it. Definitely. But um, we just have to sit there and understand we have to come to the table to find solutions. Yes, we know we have a lot of things stacked up against us. We've, we've been through that. Since the day that we born, we were been born, we've been seeing it over and over again. When are we going to start to turn that corner? I, I think about, I don't know, I always think about track and field, that 200 or the 400, that last corner to actually get to the finish line. When are we going to hit that corner and start to kick? Uh-huh. We need to start transitioning into the kick uh-huh. to get to the finish line, to get the W. We're too focused on the obstacles, the, the the aches and the pains from the muscles as far as working hard. We're too focused on that. We need to turn the corner and start to kick to actually win the fucking race. Mm-hmm. And we have the ability to, but we want to sit there and focus on the pains from training. You know? Mm-hmm. We it's- always want to sit there and focus on it. It's like, listen, everyone has their share of issues and pain that they go through. Everyone. But if we continue, I think we, we always say the safe space. It's a safe space to create excuses and reasons to fail. Fuck the safe spaces. I'm sorry. Mm-hmm. Fuck them. We don't have the room to fixate on that shit no more. We don't have to. 
We don't have it. So we got the say, pity. And that's what it is. Pity. We don't have the we don't have the room for that. We understand what we all against. We all understand that shit. Let's get the W, proceed, get better. And once we are, you know, in a better position, then we could talk about what we made it out of. And another thing, too, I have to tell other people as well. It's okay to give out different resources that you might find or you might have. A lot of people, they don't want to because they feel like it's going to be taken out of their pockets. Or it's like one of those situations like, if I know this can help you or if I know like, hey, they have this going on X, Y, Z. Why can't I share this information? What's the goal? It's the it's the goal. Complete capitalism. I think so for some people we get caught up in capitalism too much. It's the goal complete capitalism that you just dominate everything, mm-hmm. or it's the goal thriving as a survivor. I think it's just the the capitalism. That's what a lot of people's goals are. If your goal is to be, I think we are more, more much more thinking about being functional i understand being able to enjoy life i get that we all want to be able to have vacations live in spacious homes and enjoy life but at the same time why want to hide information and 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 prevent your brother or sister from getting information to win too Mm -hmm. because they don't that person don't want you to do better than them i don't get that i will never get that that's just how it is that's how i look at it because if i if I know that I could do something and somebody's most likely nine times out of 10 promotion comes from word of mouth. So they'd be like, all right, I know this so-and-so person that do this. And then you, you masterize that masterpiece. You capitalize on that. You figure out how to do it. You making all kind of money, bringing all kind of revenue. And then you got people going to come in and be like, yo, how you do this? How you, how you get this and do that? Oh, bro. I don't even know. That's our black mentality and our culture, how we move. That's crazy. They, is that selfish me mentality it, even from business to relationships is this how it is I heard somebody say re- the relationship nowadays is like a business you, I want the bag this person got to be making a hundred thousand dollars it's not for love no more they they worrying about what can I do to benefit for my personal gain for me to live my life and if I, it could go for, as far as from my kids from generation to generation from work to to business to family everything as far as how i'm going to benefit my personal gain so i can live successfully and until we fix ourselves far as we look ourselves in the mirror as an individual and say these are my flaws and this is how i gotta move to better myself to better our culture and better our generation then we'll be successful but other than that if you i look at it like we in we stay in the hood we stay in Kara city right we have we, it's a lot of black owned businesses that you see a lot of people trying to you know open up their own business do we go and support those 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 black owned business why half of the black people that have black owned business they can't even do right they want to overcharge overcharge our, our own people it's like when are we going to look ourselves in the mirror as black individuals and say yo we got to come together look ourselves in the mirror and do right once once we could we get over that first hump then maybe we could be successful one thing that's really plagues us is we don't even understand what what successful means mm, that's because true. because once again we so focus on the capitalism of mm-hmm. the world and trying to you know just dominate dominate we don't even understand that success is straight up for some people it's just being able to thrive and survive and, that's it and mm-hmm. um be on be able to you know provide Mm-hmm. opportunities for your kids so they can be able to do what they want to but some people they think only successful is just being um super rich millionaires yeah money money you yeah. know some people like i said it myself like before the manosphere exploded i did not understand i did not know what the average man in america made mm-hmm. i did not know i had no idea mm-hmm. so i didn't i did so with that with me not knowing how to win or how to be competitive in the game mm-hmm. I didn't know what numbers to strive for. I was just out here winging this bitch. Mm-hmm. Just winging mm-hmm. it. But if you understand, okay, this number is the average. This number is above average. And that then now you know, okay, this job right here gives me this salary. That makes me above average. Mm-hmm. So that gives me more, much more like, okay, 
understanding of the real world and what's successful in real world shit. But all we have to look up to is entertainers, mm-hmm. people on shade room, athletes, like social athletes. media and shit. That's, that's all we look to to think of any mm. sense of success. success. Mm-hmm. I remember being a jit and seeing um seeing jobs that well you look through jobs and stuff in career whatever you're going through career wise and they a job that made eighty thousand I'm like damn that's broke as hell thinking as a jit mm-hmm. looking at think different career ch- choices like eighty thousand that ain't nothing even though we know now today's without inflation that ain't that's not that's mm-hmm. not much but it's more than the average man mm-hmm. way more than average man and it's uh, I, I, I can't i can't i'm not getting the same as i cannot throw the percentages out there right now but that's up there in the percentages of small percentages of men that's um making good amount of money then you go to a hundred thousand still a hundred thousand just did not hundred thousand was not a millionaire mm-hmm. everything was all millionaire 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 so you will just block out some good pathways some good jobs as a child in our community because you think if it's not a millionaire it's not a good job Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and that's the stupidest shit